It goes without saying that the My Life doozy puts all paddlers to the test with day one of the 71st edition of this great race being no different. With a strong depth of field, the top crews would have to assert themselves early on in order to gain the advantage. Eleven times doozy champ Andy Burkett and his partner Dave Evans rose to the occasion, taking the pull to Ernie Pierce Weir, with Hank McGregor and Matt Millwood through in second, Alex Messina and Matt Fenn through in third. That order remained the same through the My Life Weir and Taxi Rapid, but things were about to change. At the top of Campbell's Portage, Evans and Burkett still held on to the lead but were beginning to feel the pressure from the My Life team of Tulani Mpanjwa and Msawe Nkosi Tolo, who had made their way up from 6th to 2nd. Youngster Matt Millwood and Hank McGregor were also on the charge moving up into 3rd. By the time the paddlers hit the hole in the wall portage, Mpanjwa and Mtolo had moved into the lead with Evans and Burkett on their rudder. Millwood and McGregor had also succumbed to the sheer running speed of Spunelo Cuela and Incovile Macanya, who had moved into third. With a short paddle separating Campbell's and Guinea Fowl portages, the runners held on to their advantage, resulting in Mbanjwa and Mtolo arriving at the Putin 30 seconds ahead of Evans and Burkett, who seemed to be making uncharacteristic errors. Trailing them by only 15 seconds, Quela and Makanya were pushing hard to take advantage of any mistakes and they had now moved up comfortably into third. To the cheering crowds, Mbanjwa and Mtolo navigated Mission Rapid with ease but now had to contend with a surging Evans and Burkett. Despite a battle royale between these two pedigreed crews on the infamous Cabbage Tree Portage, Mbanjwa and Mtolo managed to hold on to their lead, finishing just over 20 seconds ahead of Evans and Burkett. I'm very excited. Uh, Bungie was driving very well, but our plan was to get first uh, on day one. So our goal has been reached. So we still have more two days to go. So we can't be too excited for, the, for day one because there's still more two days. We can still make a mistake. But you're smart if you get first in the other. Despite suffering from intense leg cramps, Makanya and Quela managed to hang on to third. Ready, go. If we thought that the men's race was full of surprises, then hold on to your hats because the ladies had other ideas. Fast off the mark, the ladies settled into a diamond heading into Ernie Pierce Weir with four boats jostling for position. First in was Jordan Peake and Christy McKenzie, who got hung up in the hole at the base of the weir, resulting in them being spun out. With the four being so close together, it resulted in a bunch-up with the Olympic medalist Bridget Hartley and Pippa McGregor punching through the middle to move from fourth to first. Approaching My Life Weir, Abby Solms and Bianca Hall had moved into the lead, closely followed by Hartley and McGregor. Peake and McKenzie were pushing hard to make up for lost time. More drama unfolded at Taxi Rapid as Hartley and McGregor took a swim. Choosing the far right line, Peake and McKenzie also took a swim, putting the undoubted momentum behind Solms and Hall. Reaching Campbell's Portage with a comfortable lead, Solms looked to be back in her happy place after a five-year hiatus, with young Bianca Hoare pushing hard, driving them forward. Recovering from their swim, Hartley and McGregor still hung on to second and were doing what they could to regain contact. The drama continued for Peak and McKenzie, who now had to contend with steering issues. With time not on their side, they decided to push on.
At the put-in of guinea fowl portage, Psalms and Hoare continue to extend their lead with a precision put-in and clean line choice down Mission Rapid. With Cabbage Tree remaining, they settled down into their rhythm, focusing on limiting mistakes before the finish. Taking a dominant lead into day two, Solms and Hall were pleased with their performance. Yeah, it was a good day. I mean, there's always a tussle at the start at Ernie Pierce, which um, we were quite lucky to get off quite lightly. Um, but from there, we had a pretty much clean day. We had lots of fun in the boat. Um, yeah. Making an incredible recovery, Peak and Mackenzie managed to round out the day in second over eight minutes back. You can plan as much as you want, but today we had a spin out at Ernie's, a swim at low level, a swim at taxi. Um, yeah, our drag line came off and our pedal was yeah, giving us some trouble. So two, two more days and two more days to make some time up. Be sure to tune into our live Instagram stories broadcast tomorrow morning from 5.30 for all of the day two racing action.